The closest Ghanaians have come to hearing about uh, a coup plot or destabilization plot in recent years well, was back in 1981, 31st December, when Rollins conducted his second coup and overthrew Dr. Hela Leman. Now, 38 years down the line, this government is accusing some persons, including Dr. Frederick Yao Omak Palm, of a destabilization plot. Now, these persons uh, were sent to the Kanishi District Court and uh, were well, charged with four counts uh, well, conspiracy to commit uh, uh, treason felony, treason felony, conspiracy to possess explosives, arms, and ammunition without lawful excuse. Possession of uh, explosives, uh, arms, and ammunition without uh, lawful excuse. But then uh, their defense uh, lawyer essentially said that the court, the Kanishi District Court, did not have the ju jurisdiction to well, oversee the case. The court disagreed. But the court then advised that, yes, if they want bill, they should come to the high court to look for bill. So here we are to find out whether or not the accused persons will be granted bill, whether they will be denied, or if the hearing will be postponed. So in your short is uh, counsel for the accused, Mr. Victor Kujuga Adawudu. Who, who has uh, in the past described this particular case as a setup and uh, called for uh, the accused to be released by the district court. He's also challenged the jurisdiction of uh, the district court to actually hear this uh, particular case. Now, at this particular high court, he has uh, come to seek bail for um, uh, his. Uh, uh, the people he's actually defending and then uh, what we know is that the bail application has been denied now um, today at the high court uh, seven out of the nine persons he is uh, representing actually showed up in court minus uh, dr frederick yao mark palm himself now we some soldiers actually were present uh, some of them being kennel some were, uh, well, some of the soldiers who actually have been accused as part of this particular case include Kennel Samuel Kuju Gameli, now um, uh, Corporal Seidu Abubakar, Lance Corporal Ali Solomon, Lance Corporal Sylvester Akampewum, among others. Now, um, from the High Court, we are moving uh, to the Kanishi District Court for the substantive case proper to be heard. So we're going to head over there and then uh, see where this particular uh, case goes. At the Kanishi District uh, Court, you could spot uh, some lawyers, some family members, you know, gathered in different uh, parts of uh, the compound. Uh, some of them here to support their relatives. Uh, some of them also I'm in here for, well, similar reasons, but uh, scores of uh, lawyers as well as scores of family members are gathered, were gathered uh, at uh, today's uh, appearance at the Kanishi District Court. So in your shot uh, is, the, is a vehicle that is supposed to convey the accused persons, all nine of them. Uh, you have the you have them entering at this particular point in time. The military gentlemen, uh, more or less, uh, serving as guards, and uh, well, they just uh, prevented us from actually taking shots of them, taking shots of them. But uh, but yeah, uh, oh, there you have uh, a military gentleman. Military police who is uh, suddenly unhappy about uh, the journalist taking shots of the accused persons who are who are entering into the vehicle that is suspected to convey them. Now all these persons were denied bail at the High Court, and uh, they proceeded to the Kanishi District Court for the substantive case. And what we do know is that uh, the judge essentially asked uh, the prosecution to speed up uh, investigations in this particular case. I mean, there you have uh, some family members in uh, your shot, in your shot uh, pouring libation after uh, today's appearance uh, of the accused. I mean, uh, the family member is uh, uttering some uh, words. Uh, we can't hear exactly what he's saying, but they are pouring libation 
um, following after I mean their relations were whisked away after their appearance. So, 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 Senior, so, I mean, we just know that uh, the, the judge has asked the prosecution to speed up the process. Yes. What, do you, what, do you, what do you make of that? Oh, it's, an, it's a good uh, uh, omen to us because they are dealing the innocent people in the cells, which is not right. It's a very serious case that you shouldn't keep people. At least you said you've done investigation for 15 years before arresting the people. So why should you keep the docket at, for two months now? Why, why should it be like that? It's not proper. So we, should, we are just praying that they, they speed up the case so that everybody will know its level. Oh, and then the libation that was just poured, I mean, what, what was the essence? Essentially? It's about the paternal people who are pouring libation from God from his village to guide him in this case. And which, which particular accused person are we speaking of? Kenal Gameli. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there you have it, uh, some uh, family members pouring libation for uh, uh, Gameli, uh, who also happens to be uh, one of the nine accused persons. And they are saying that, I mean, his God should... Uh, help him and uh, more or less I see him through this particular process. They are particularly unhappy about uh, the delay uh, tactics that the prosecution is actually using. You're still watching the City Newsroom. We'll be speaking to my colleague and also possibly hear from lawyer Adawudu. The court thinks that uh, we've made our case, but what the court is saying that um, being in custody for two months is not unreasonable and also said that these are uh, senior military officers and other people. If they are released, they may interfere with witnesses, especially being a senior military officer when he commands any of the young people. And they are saying they are military officers who would also uh, come and testify. Two, he says the junior officers, he will not release them because uh, there have been instances where junior officers have led military coup before. So on those two bases it was not going to. So I think we are okay. We'll take the ruling, look at it and wait patiently, you know and we'll see at the appropriate time what we can do. We have said that the, the young man, the Sesule, who is on the run was the one who took them to the military installation. How can civilians walk to a military installation to test gun? So he's, he's the one. We, we are just saying that, listen, we know those who are involved, those who have done this, I got it, we know. But at, at, the, at the appropriate time, no, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What I said, what, yes, what I said, and it was the same gentleman who comes with the idea that, listen, it is dangerous to travel without protection. So I, being an aide to a senior military officer, that was his personal bodyguard, I would use my position with my superior to get a gun and lances it for you. So which ordinary citizen, when he wants maybe a gun, which will be licensed, is it a crime to license a gun? It is not. So if, who took them there? It's the same Sule. It's only one, one person who went to test it. That is there as well. And he took him there. You think a civilian can walk to the military installation without any person getting involved? So that's what we have said. And as the court has spoken, we will look at it, and I think that at the appropriate time, we will still go back to the court. Now, the prosecution would only slap a charge on you and keep you there. And every day they come to court, and they think it is automatic remand. That when I bring you before court, you know, and, you know, that passive uh, issue that I, I said, that the court has spoken about it, during the Martin Pebu case, the court talked about it that look the law does not give specific time frame for investigation to be conducted and when even it concludes so when there's no timeline the prosecution can always come and give excuse and we've been seeing it the police prosecutors there were state attorneys they always come and say we've not even seen the docket the investigation is still continuing and this are bare allegation they should even that's why i was making the argument that look if you have an evidence, just bring it for the court to assess that you have a watertight evidence against the people. You don't bring anything, you make. But I understand sometimes when it happens like this. Because just bring the inventory. What has been found on the premises? What was found with the person? Nothing was found. You see, at the end of the day, if they are acquitted and discharged, what have we done to them? We have killed his hospital. 
the hospital will not function. What have we done to him? We have been in this country when people had been in cells for all years after trial. <coughs> After trial, the court says that we've not found you guilty. All right, so uh, there you uh, have it, uh, the lawyer for the accused uh, addressing the media there. I'm going to speak to my colleague here, Fred Tachi Jabano, uh, who is uh, a court correspondent. Uh, more or less, uh, walk us through exactly what happened at the high court and then, uh, and then uh, uh, also what happened at the Kanishi District Court. Uh, all right, uh, so Fred. If you can uh, kindly join me. Uh, so, I mean, you, you, you have uh, followed this particular process. Um, walk us through exactly uh, what happened today. Yeah, so today there were two different legs to this case. And this case is still having to do with the cool people. These are nine of the suspects. This includes Dr. Frederick Mapam and um, eight others. This eight others have, has two civilians and six military personnel, including a senior military officer. So... What happened was that the first instance this morning, these nine people, out seven out of the nine people, went to the high court to go and seek for bail. The judge, Justice George Boydui, after listening to the arguments of all uh, uh, the two sides, that's the defense lawyers or the applicants in this particular case, which are the accused uh, persons, and the state, he says that it's been less than two months yeah. since this particular, uh, these people were arrested. And therefore, he didn't believe that they should be granted bail. He also says that looking at the nature of the case and the fact that it's, the charges are one of treason, yeah. he believed that it was so serious that he couldn't grant these people bail. Here at the Kaneshi District Court, this is a court where the committal process is expected to begin. When the people were brought to the court, the prosecution, this time police prosecution, not the state prosecutors, not state attorneys, this time police prosecution, which are uh, uh, the prosecutors handling this case at the state's, uh, at the district's level, requested for more time. According to them, they are still investigating the matter and they will still need some few weeks to be able to conclude their investigations and forward the docket to the Attorney General for a bill of indictment to be uh, processed and brought to the court for committal process, for the committal process proper to begin. Their request for more time and remand did not go down well with the defense attorney in this, in this particular case at the district court. The defense attorneys how they believe that this case, according to the prosecution in the fact, have been one which they have been following for 15 months. Yeah. So they were wondering what else they were, being, were being investigated and thought that it was just, they were just unduly delaying the process of trial. They actually urged the judge to give a timeline as to when or as to which the prosecution should finish their investigations. Did the judge uh, uh, give them that? The, 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 the judge, even though sympathized with them, did not give a timeline. What the judge actually did was that the judge gave an order asking the prosecution and state investigators to ensure that before the next agenda, which is in the two weeks' time, on the 20th of November, they forward their docket to the Attorney General for advice where the bill of indictment will be put in place, then committal process will take place. All right, so thank you, Fred. Uh, that's my colleague, Fred Tete Jabono, there, our court correspondent, uh, basically explaining the happenings of today. You're still watching the City Newsroom. At this point in time, we pause and uh, cross over to my colleague, Fima Idunyami.